What's up, YouTube family? It's Josh here. Happy New Year. Just wanted to start off the new year with a quick and simple tutorial on pastels. Take a look. All right, in the beginning, I'm starting off with a white pencil to just get my line work in. I don't have to make sure everything is in proper proportion because it's not a person's face or an object. It's pretty much like light. So I usually set down the base before I put pastel over it. The base that I use is like a very thin layer of maybe a Copic marker. I used a Copic airbrush system to set my first layer. But instead, I'm going to skip that because this doesn't require much layers anyway. Since it's a small drawing and the colors that I'm working with are very vibrant anyway. A good thing about pastel is it definitely fills in a lot of those missed spots on the paper without you needing to blend it in or layer it again. I usually layer it two layers for whatever I'm putting down, usually. But it all depends on what part of the drawing you're doing. Okay, just about finished laying down majority of the green pigments for the galaxy, the center part of the galaxy that I'm drawing. Now I'm just doing the rays, which is the blue spot that you see there, and I'm blending it off into space. So I kind of want like a hazy effect, almost like dust. So that's pretty simple to do. You just need to draw the lines. Don't press too hard, just hard enough, just for the pigment to come on the paper. And then you just smudge it with your finger in the direction that you drew it. And now I'm adding some of my color pencils. Those are the Prismacolor pencils. It doesn't matter what type of pencil you use to add your details. As long as the point of the pencil is sharp, if it's dull, it tends to push a lot of the pastel and almost remove it from the paper. But when it's really thin, it allows you to get in between some of the teeth of the paper, the pastel paper, and it helps to blend easier too. If the tip is dull, it can blend, but it usually tends to push my pastel from just my experience. So I'm sticking with colors that are similar to what I use to set the base, which is the pastel that I use to set the base. I'm using the pencils along with the pastel to help me build more details because the pastels are limited. Yes, they are pencils. You can sharpen them, but there's some details it, it lacks. You really want the thinnest points to make fine detail. You can get your pastel very thin, but the material of the pencil itself, it doesn't have strong enough of a lead to withstand certain amounts of pressure. You end up shattering the tip of the pastel because it's pretty much chalk. So it's always good to use a combination of colored pencils with pastel at the same time versus just pastel itself. It does matter when you lay down the pencil. It's better to lay down the pastel first and then add the pencil on top. If you add the pencil first before the pastel, it tends to make pressure marks, which is hard for the pastel to actually grip the teeth of the paper. So I usually use the color pencils for my final step of detail. So make sure you lay down your pastel first and then add your color pencil after. That's probably why you see majority of it just being color pencils in my hand right now. Okay, so now I'm trying to make sure I get the colors as bright as I can. By doing that, I'm using the brightest color pencils I have in terms of the colors. So I know a lot of the Prismacolor pencils have very neon bright colors to make sure those greens pop out. There are very bright pastels that can do the trick, but 
right now I need the small details. After I added in majority of the details for my galaxy, I'm just going to touch it up a little bit more with my finger to make sure that all the colors are evenly displaced so that not one spot is too light and not one spot is too dark. Another way to do that would be to add another layer of pastel. But right now I'm going to use some of the pastel that's built up in one spot more than another and spread the spot that's used up more and see how much I can spread. If it's not enough, then I'll add more pastel to an area that's lighter. So I'm mixing my colors to make the rays of the galaxy pop more. So I'm using a little bit of purple there, which purple is my favorite color and it does so much good in the art world. And another staple to use would be a white pastel pencil. There's many ways you can use it. It helps you to lighten up colors that were too dark or it helps to spread certain colors too. It can make colors dull and it can give some colors a glare effect. There's so many things you can do with the white pastel pencil. But right now I'm using a darker pencil to blend in some of the missed spots from the pastel. I ended up missing some of the spots because I didn't put enough pastel on. So when I was smudging it, it didn't go as far as I wanted the pastel to stretch. So I added a little bit of pencil just to compensate for the missed space. And now here is the final step before I put in the stars. I want to put something over the galaxy because I don't want a lot of the stars to go on top of the galaxy or inside of it, then it won't look like the galaxy is up close versus it behind. So I want the stars pretty much in the background. It's okay if there's a few stars on the galaxy, but I don't want it to be in the center. I'm going to put a thin sheet of saran wrap for I can see through it and I can know exactly where I want to place it on top since it's see-through. If it was a white piece of paper, I wouldn't be able to see what I'm actually covering. Now time to do the fun part, which is to make the stars. This part is very simple. All you need is two paint brushes filled with white paint, and you need to place them on top of each other in an X position, like this. So the one that's staying still you don't have to have as much white paint or you don't have to have any white paint. But the other brush that you're knocking in this motion, you want to have paint on this point of the tip. So you're using the one that's not moving as a knocking base. So when you do that, the paint will splatter in a dot motion or in a dot form. Make sure that the brush, this one, has a lot of white paint on it but not too much that it's dripping off of the paintbrush without you doing anything. You want it to still hold just enough, but only when you hit, it'll be enough for it to splatter. That wasn't too bad, right? Just a quick pastel tutorial. So hopefully next week I'll do something a little bit more involved. I wanted to start the new year off with something simple. Since you guys have been asking for pastel, tutorials. So I thought I'll do it for you. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you didn't and like the video if you liked it. All right. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you guys for next Friday. Peace out.